Hello everybody, my name is Mitch. Welcome back to Voidbound, our multiplayer Minecraft world that we play on with our Voidbound friends. And today, well, things have changed a little bit here. We got a cactus farm popped up over there. Our spawn house here has expanded. I'll show you off a couple of things, then we'll kind of get to work. Bloop. Oh, there's Alan. Hi, Alan. I think he's AFK. I'm not totally sure. But yeah, that's the new storage area. We've got all kinds of blocks all stored up on Community Hole. Um, we've got Enchanting Area over here. All this was basically here, but they've kind of made it a little more fancy. You've got a stairway over to here. Is there anything in this room? I don't think so. Anything in here? Oh, looks like that goes from up there. I haven't really spent a lot of time looking around just yet, so some of this stuff will be new to me too. Shut that door. I hear zombies. There's none in the village, right? Do we still have villagers? I don't know. Really should try to save two somewhere, just in case. But let's go ahead and keep looking around. I like this little balcony area. I guess we're going to kind of keep the village building technique, motif, whatever you want to call it. Oh, we've got another little room down here. Oh, what's this? Ender Dragon Vault. Items for fight. Oh, well, I guess we'll have it beat next week, folks. See you later. Such a good series. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. This is... Oh, I think this is one of those, like, super smelting furnaces. Only one type of one item at a time. Be prepared to flush it a lot. Well, if you flush it too much, isn't it going to overflow? No, that's toilets. You know, the doorway there. Oh, I guess, they, yeah, they dug this out. And then this was our bunker. Just random crap in there. All kinds of beds. I don't guess we can sleep because Alan's not moving. I'm scared. I'm worried for him. Not really. But yeah, let's see. Let's take a quick trip through here. I don't want to spend too much time with this, but we've kind of gotten things built in. We've got a nice little horse stable here built by somebody. I think it was Kavog. Not totally sure, but I'm pretty sure he's the one who built that. We've got a few horses. We've got farms out the get-go. We got the church has been taken over by ow uh, the nether rack and it's kind of sticking out of the building a little bit oh hmm i guess that's okay but what i have planned for today i've been looking around thinking well i don't want to mess with that looks like somebody's touched that looks like somebody's been working over here this corner over here has been relatively untouched for the most part, except it's got melons and pumpkins. So I've kind of claimed it as my own. And I see this is going to be a little bit of a challenge building something here that, well, you, by now, if you've watched this channel long enough, you know that I like to make things pretty. So I'm going to take this, you know, your standard pumpkin and melon farm and try to do something special with it. But first, we've got to kind of tear down this one, which I think is okay with everybody. Sure. I mean, we've got enough supplies here to last us a while. Um, I'm going to have to cover up that water. Do I have... Let's grab a block from over here. Nope. Over here. There we go. I guess I hear you, zombie. Wherever you might be. But yeah. I don't really have anything extra big to add, like huge farms or anything. But I do have building. I like to build. I like to make things pretty. And that's the plan for today. So let's get this all torn out and get to work. Everything's been kind of cleared out around here now. We got plenty of, well, not plenty of room to work, but we're making do. Now I'm just trying to figure out how exactly, I think, hmm, I think this is gonna be more of like the side of the building. I think the easiest place to approach it is probably gonna be from this side. But I don't want all of this to be the building. I want to have a little bit of a cool walkway up, if I can. If I can figure out a way to make this work. Like, say if we do stairs here, it's going to kind of elevate this area. To give us, a, like, a 3x3 three three to look out on. And then have it go back up again. 
Maybe here? That's gonna walk us right into a wall though. Hmm, maybe we can't really make this work. Well, let's see. I did something like this in my single player, player series recently. It's what made me think of it. It's gonna look weird if we go like this and then bring it over. It's gonna kind of create, dang it, we only have like a two wall gap there. We could bring the wall all the way out to here though. And that's gonna give us kind of a little room to work with. And if we bring it out to here, walking up that stair, but we can't really walk up that stair. It's gotta be turned the other way. So maybe if we pop it off and put it here. Hmm. And that's going to square this up to here. I'm just trying to make this seem a little less boring. We do like that. Then if we have like a fence here, or maybe like a big pillar right there coming up to hold up part of the porch. I think this may work. Now give us a little more room to put something right there. I think this is going to come together and that'll stretch the building out this way. And I kind of got that hole dug there because I'm thinking a lot of the pumpkin farming might be done downstairs or in a little more of a downstairsy area. Like I said, this is going to be micro building at its finest here. That's what I've got in mind. And still trying to stick with the basic look and feel of the village. Since that's kind of what we're doing over here, I don't want to break out too, too much. I could be wrong. I could show back up on the server tomorrow and it look entirely different. But for now, I think this is what we're going with. So, hmm. Got that there those stairs there. Let's just cover this up for now. Cause I'm going to already starting to go in a different direction than I originally planned. I guess we can go ahead and fill this in for now. Oh, I only have a few more left. I have to jump out and get some more. This cobblestone is one thing you always have a lot of. I still had some more in my inventory too. And this is not, I'm not promising this is all going to end up being cobblestone either. Because ah, I don't like how it matches with that outside wall. I'm sure that outside wall is going to change. Maybe? But just in case. Alright, let's look at it. I mean, from this side, it's still going to be kind of blah. Unless that's where we start bringing these pillars up in that back corner too. Let's check this out. I went ahead and chopped down some of the oak. So we've got your standard Minecraft village building blocks to work with. Let's see. So that's going to come up right there. And if I bring this one in here, that come up to that's going to kind of create a weird corner right there. And sorry, this door is probably going to move. I don't think there's anything important on that wall either. So moving it over a couple of blocks isn't going to hurt anything, I don't think. And that gives us an interesting little nook right here. And we'll carry the same thing back this way. That, and I don't like this awkward spot in between here and the wall, but I didn't want to build it right flush up against the wall, just in case the wall design changes. Hmm. The torch is back up. Let's look at that again. I'm liking it. I think it's got a good vibe to it. We've got a good foundation set at least. A little more progress has been made. I've got a basic structure set up now. I'm liking what we got here. I'm trying to sideways jump up that. That was kind of hard. But yeah, we got like this little front porch area. I'm not sure if we're going to cover this or not. I don't know yet. So I was kind of looking over there. 
at where the blacksmith area was and how its roof is done. I think that might look kind of cool on top of here. I may be giving this a lot of thought since I'm, or too much thought since we're kind of just copying the basic villager house motif with adding our own little details here and there. But I like how this side looks. It's interesting to look at. This side's interesting to look at. And the other two sides you can't really see, so it don't really matter. So if you walk up into here, it ends up being a very small space, especially if we do these stairs on the side. But these stairs will lead up to this area up here, which we might stick, I don't know, something insignificant up here, just to give us a reason to do another story. Then maybe do like a covered roof right there. And then if we go downstairs, I had room for upstairs and downstairs. I'm pretty impressed. You don't even hit your head. Well, maybe a little bit, but not much. And then you go down here. And this is where I, well, I did have melons and pumpkins, but Griffin and Alan, I think yesterday, while they were streaming, I said something about not touching my melons. And obviously they did. I touched all over them. I feel so violated. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. Those guys are wonderful. Um, all right, let's get back to work here. Let's see. Let's go ahead and try to cover that. See what that would look like. Because I was thinking about expanding the building off this way too, but that's not really going to give much room. Because even if we added that, we'd have to add like a floor at this level. I don't know. I think it might feel better if it was covering this. So let's see. We bring that all the way over to here. And knock that out. And then we wouldn't have to worry about those spawning spaces either. We just do the whole thing like this. Do, 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 and do. Okay, let's look, see how that looks from the outside. Maybe kind of corny, but I don't know. I kind of like it. Fits in with the general design and stuff of things. Except up there, I think it's used more as just aligning the edges. It's not really covering the whole thing, but we're giving ourselves liberties here to play around with. Yeah, I like that. And I like the extra dimension there of this being a little bit taller, too. Hmm. So let's go ahead and bring that up a little bit. Take these out. I just mainly had these here because I left. This is the next day, by the way. So how far up do we need to go? I guess I should have measured that beforehand. We'll go up like three. Let's try. One, two, three. One, two, three. And I was kind of wanting to make it stick out a little bit on one side. But I don't know. That might be a little too much detail. That and I'm not exactly sure how we're going to do the roof yet. Hmm. I think we're going to try to keep this as vanilla looking as we can. For now. I will be adding windows and such. We do like that. Bring this over. Like this over here. This is gonna give us, you know, something else sticking up from the town too, which I kind of like. We need different dimensions, like short buildings, tall buildings. Do like that. Bring this over. Uh oh. Like, can I get that back from here? Nope. It's gone. Bring this over to here. And like I said, I will be adding windows, but for the time being, I'm just kind of figuring this out space-wise. I might give myself a ladder right there just so I can get to the top. Do I have any ladders? Let's get that piece of wood. Can't be wasting supplies just yet. I don't think I made any ladders. I do have sticks. Let's see. Three should do it. 
Let's throw him back into here. Now I think at this level, we'll start putting a roof in. There we go. Now we can get back up here. Yeah, I like this. We've got an area to play with right there too, if we wanted to, like window wise. Do I need something breaking this up on the side though? I don't know, let's look at that. It's gonna take, still take a lot of me like looking at it, wandering off, looking at it from a different angle, wandering off. Yeah, it definitely needs windows. Now, are windows going to be enough to break that up, or are we going to need something else? This is going to be an even side, too, which I kind of feel meh about. But if we did a window like right there, and then did a window on the next level up, let's try to knock out that hole, too. Is that how we're doing the windows? And like here. It's okay. And then we'll need some glass. Oh, there's a zombie somewhere. Oh, rain stopped. Time to dry out. Now we're using window panes in these buildings. But they kind of use window blocks, or not window blocks, uh, glass blocks over there. Mainly because it's around the door, I think, and it kind of carried that design over. So what we could do... Hmm. Does that give me a line in between here? No, it's pretty much like those two blocks and then a window. Got a little bit of glass I borrowed. How do you like that? Yeah. Okay. So let's slap that in here like this. Yeah, I like that. And then we'll go upstairs. Add it in right here. Now we're gonna do the same thing on this side. There the stairs are in the way. And here, I'm not sure about. I kind of want to add it on here, this side too. Just, ugh. there we go. Now go bloop, bloop. Yeah, I like it. Not sure about the cobblestone, but other than that, I like it. I don't know, it kind of gives that, I don't know, like it's the villager house theme that I'm going for. Just because I wouldn't use it, you know, in real life, no, in other builds, doesn't mean I don't have to use it in this one. And there's still other ways we can kind of spruce things up here. I mean, as in like design-wise, not grabbing a spruce tree from over there. But, hmm. That's time to sit and stare at this until I figure out a good idea for the roof. I think we might have a zombie inside of the sugarcane farm. <laughs> He's making a lot of noise out here. I am finished though with what I was doing. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not gonna hunt him down yet, just yet. But yeah, we're finished with the melon farm. Check it out. I'm happy with the roof and everything. I was gonna go with the standard villager roof, but it's just a little boring for me. Whoa, that's loud. Sugar cane, be quiet, zombie sugar cane. So yeah, I went with the standard roof here. Two stories. I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. Let's look at it from out here. I want to kind of get all angles in here. Kind of jump out here real quick. So if you're kind of coming upon the village from this side, somebody must have planted jungle trees out here. That's pretty cool. See right there, it kind of sticks out from the, the wall there we've got going on. I like it. You got a little window right there. I'm going to say something other than just I like it. I love it. Oh. I think I did a good work. Added in a couple of little flowers. I don't know if I'll add anything on this side because they're still, you know, it's kind of minimalistic. We're going for, you know, the smallest possible little farm area here as we had. Because that was part of the challenge too, was trying to fit a house in this little space. And I think we did it. I think we met the challenge. Let's climb up these real quick. 
Kind of look at it from over here. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. Now let's go take a quick tour inside. There's not a lot going on inside just because the space is so cramped. But we may end up sticking something in there. I went with the spruce door. And then we go upstairs here. Let's stick a chest or something over here for extra supplies. I went with the kind of slanted roof up here or ceiling just to do something a little different. I think it adds, you know, a little bit more room in this room and it makes it a little more interesting to look at. We've got views out of both the windows here. And if we go back down here, add in a little bit of mossy cobblestone I found in one of the chests. Hope nobody minds. If you mind, you can come take it back. But go down the stairs here. And then here's our farm. I went ahead and got the melons replanted. Come down here, gather this. Doop, 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 doop. I know it's not like a huge mega farm, but it's a quite cute little thing. And if we wanted to add on going off that way or, you know, going down, that could be two different ideas. I just wanted to kind of get something simply built on the server here before everybody else beats me to it. So there we have kind of like support beams here in the ceiling. Right here is like right at grass level. I did not think about that whenever I was building. I thought I had it, you know, dug down deep enough. So we went with kind of a dirt walls and kind of like a cellar feeling. It's a set, you know, it makes sense for, you know, be down underneath the ground, growing your produce and such that you'd have dirt walls. We went ahead and put in some of the, was that hardened dirt? Just to add some different tones and stuff into here too. And then some cobble on the sides. I know cobble isn't everybody's favorite, but I kind of had to just make it work. And then we've got storage over here and over here. And all in all, I like it. And if you want to make melons, you can do them right here. I think I've got all the basic needs met. Everything's lit up. And we're done with this. Hurrah! So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope everybody else in the Voidbound server enjoys it. If they did. I'm sure they'd leave a comment. No, but I'm not going to make them leave a comment. I'll just make you leave a comment. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys again next time.